<laughs> feel like I'm always fixing my hair. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Hi everyone. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. I'm like have here. Oh my word. That's okay. <laughs> Where, there you go. Oh no, we don't want you to be have. <laughs> to, the, to have, uh, what that movie? The haves and have nots. Screaming. Salam alaikum. So sorry I put my hand in the camera. Make sure that you guys, is that better? I feel like our heads were cut off. I feel like it's falling right back. <laughs> wow. That's okay. They can see. Hi, everybody. Have. <laughs> and welcome to Mental Health Thursday. I am Maya, and we are here with Hygier. And we are, we got some good stuff for you guys. Yesterday, we had a breakthrough moment. I feel like yesterday, Business Wednesday, we really took off. Took to, We were on the, some, some next level. Um, and now today, we're going to talk about your mental health and the importance of making sure that you have clarity and peace of mind in your day-to-day -day life. Mental day awareness so um for all my friends who watch on especially facebook there is a lot of um good people that i interviewed from before uh doctors who are like focused on raising awareness making sure that you stay healthy not just physically mm -hmm. mentally and we try to do that every day like every day when we talk to you about autism awareness, we talk about what that will affect you and affect <laughs> what that affects you and affect your kids. When we talk to you today about domestic violence, it's also everything in your life it will affect you somehow. Yes. So if it if it affects you mentally, it's definitely going to affect you physically mm -hmm. uh you are not going to be productive so you're not going to be doing anything on business day wednesday exactly <laughs> or saving friday right you'll just yeah be there okay. so we got to make sure that our mental health is good yeah and that we're able we have coping skills and coping mechanisms and we're doing things for our mental health so that we can achieve all the slow good down we people say slow down when you talk so that we can achieve what we want to accomplish in life. Yeah. So you have to not just think about what you look on the outside. Is my hair done? Is my eyebrows? My nose? Is your brain? Is your brain done? Exactly. <laughs> is your brain that's, done or finished? That's like, going to be the same thing. Is my hair done <laughs> and my brain done? And when we say done, we don't mean like done as ended. Right. We yeah. mean like, I feel like this is going to be loud. Yeah. What's going to be like? I was going to try to put the comments on here so we could see. Yeah, you can. Just mute this. Um, so when it comes to mental health, um, if you guys have, we ask every week, if you have a tip that you would like to share with us and mm -hmm. with everyone, and we will read it, what do you do to cope when life gets very messy? Yeah. And that is... Muhammad Badawi, happy birthday. Hey, happy if, birthday. if someone is celebrating a birthday, just throw it here. Muhammad Badawi, put it out there. He just turned 50. He's my buddy. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday. Yes, you always um, look. He said, I look young and I feel young for him. So, like, you do look young. You have to feel young. And age is just a number. Yeah. It's really how you it, feel on the inside. Yep. So Happy how do birthday. you feel being 50, Muhammad Badawi? <laughs> What's all? Hi, welcome back. We're good to we're glad to see you today. Ar Rashid, hello, oh, welcome. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Happy because of you are in my life. I love you. I love you, Muhammad. He's my buddy, my buddy. Um <clears throat> so it's still 20th. Um, do you really want to go back to 20? Muhammad yeah. Bidoui and I in our 20th. You don't want to we, go back. Yeah, I do want to go back. Do you? We, um, me and him, um, we read poem together. Oh. Um, and during college to help people to understand their rights. Uh, I was a spokesperson for the Democratic Forefront. So politically active and... Um, Bedawi was one of um, the people that are 
not just active, an activist. He's a strong person. He's my everything. We were like twins. We used to read a shi'ir, poem, shi'ir. Shid. Yep. Hamid and a lot of Sudanese uh, poet. Um, so anyways, if you want to go back to 20 and be in torture and <laughs> run by the Sudanese government, which they don't exist now, but it's worst. Uh, I don't want, I mean, honestly, for the mental health, that was one of the best time that we all had. Uh, we had a lot of amazing people around us, amazing friends, amazing people that you can call family. And there is still, we're still connecting. This is um, big love to you too, Hussein Isaac. Uh, so that was part of my, um, like, not just well being, but my emotional support. Muhammad Badawi and so many of my friends in Sudan, Jamaat al Sudan, Sudan University. Jamaat al Sudan. Jamaat al Sudan. Sudan University for Science and Technology. So that was a, a good, 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 good group of people back then. And we're still in touch with many of them. So, um, anyways, whatever, Sarah, Sarah, hello, hello. <laughs> So whatever you do, um, just uh, click down there. Tell us what is helping you to cope. Mas'ud, hi, hi. <laughs> tell us, today is Mental Health Awareness Day. Yes. At So tell us your coping mechanism. And Maya is going to read to us what she have prepared in English. And I'm going to say it in Arabic. Awesome. If so I can. <laughs> we have... We have four key um, coping mechanisms. Sorry, we have four, four key coping mechanisms okay. to help you cope with your mental health. No matter what you're going through in life, first you have to understand. Am I going too fast? Yeah. Okay. So four coping mechanism. We're gonna give you arba, four arba, arba, arba. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Uh, tips, you said what? Keys? Four tips. Mafatih wala nasaih. Key, key is muftah. Mutaf. Mafatih or keys. Mm -hmm. uh, and then nasaih is advice. Nasaih. Uh, how to cope. Yes. So when life gets hard, what you need to do to make it a little bit digestible, acceptable, easy. Go for it. All right. So these these tips uh, will help you feel more positive and will, you know, kind of hey, help you see the bright side of things in life. Okay. So number one is connect with other people. Good relationships are important for mental health and your well-being. Connect with other people. Yani, alga, al connection da, al yani. No, تلقى دي كلمة عادية يعني to find تلقى is to find oh. um, uh, other people ناس أو أشخاص آخرين other أخرى آخر um, in your life try to find good people mm -hmm. uh, good relationship علاقات جيدة علاقات علاقات relationship is علاقات جيدة جيدة uh, it is very important, muhimma, muhimma, for your mental well-being. So, when you are surround yourself, خلي حولك حلقة أو دائرة من الأشخاص. لما تقولي good when we say good, like nas kuisin, we mean it with everything, mm -hmm. not just good as like a good human being only, but good for you. You mm -hmm. could be a good human being, but not good for me. Right. So if someone is not making you feel good, someone is making you feel any kind of way, whether that putting you down, mm -hmm. um, making you feel you're not worthy or just doubting you. I know a lot of people when you come to them as a friend and say, I am thinking about 
um, starting a business or thinking about doing this, they're like, this is a stupid idea mm -hmm. or try to like tear you down. Tear you down. Mm -hmm. Those people, what do you need to do with them? Cut. Sorry. Cut, cut, cut. Cut the umbilical cord, the ties, done, finito. Yeah, let, yep. let them go. And we talked about this yesterday in Business Wednesday about having good business relationships. Well, you also have to have just good relationships in general. Um, for you to have any success in your life, you have to have the people around you who think and feel the same way as you. Birds of a feather flock together. Yep. So if you are surround somebody who's... Bird of a feather flock together. في السودان بنقول الطيور birds طيور طيور الطيور على أشكالها تقع or to fly تقع is like to fall like bird like the same alike or mentality تقع it doesn't mean fall it's fall in Arabic but it doesn't mean fall in this statement it means you associate yourself with the same Mentality. Yes. الطيور على أشكالها تقع. Bird of a feather fly together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and you have to be willing to, like we said yesterday and earlier, to cut off those negative people in your life who don't feel or think the same way as you. Yep. It's important. Salamu alaykum. Kola. Kola, Habib Mama Hajir, how are you? Um, the person is the doctor of himself in psychology, in psychological health. That's Muhammad Badawi. Uh, respect yourself and others. Do what you like and what you believe. And what you want, like, treat others the same way you want to be treated. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right, so number two. Now, this is really... This is really, um, you know, you can see it in two different ways. Learn new skills. So this could be something that you already love, mm -hmm. or this could be something that you're going to now devote all of your time into doing to help take your mind off of what's going on in the world around you. Um, and we've talked about this on previous mental health um, Thursdays, you know, with like the war that's happening in Sudan. You know, there's a lot of distractions. Sometimes we forget yeah. to... to we, we, not that we forget, but we don't know how to separate what's going out there in the world from what's going on up here. So learning new, skill, learning new skills, taking time to learn something that you've never learned before. Like we have a lot of people uh, who watch the live videos who want to learn English. That's a really good way to focus your mind and your attention off of what's happening in the world. Okay. Learn new skills. Ita'allam. تعلم 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 yeah new is جديدة جديدة skills is مهارات يعني مهارات ممكن الكلام اللي قالته مايا بالإنجليزي حاولوا يعني ممكن تكون المهارات الجديدة دي ممكن تكون حاجة أنت أصلا بتعرفها something you already know or something new مهارات جديدة يعني عشان ما تساعد نفسك وتساعد الحولك حاولوا ببداية السنة 2024 The New Year بداية السنة الجديدة New Year سنة سنة جديدة جديدة New Year 2024 um, لو عندكم رغبة في حاجة If you have something that you really like حاجة بتحبوها Or something you always wanted to try Try it mm -hmm. um, That can't be drugs or yeah doing anything to harm yourself yeah guys come on. you know we know what we're saying you know yes. what we're saying so maharaj jadida itallamu haja jadida law intu shagalin you're working mm -hmm. at a, a toxic environment shagalin fi mahal kaab wa mumkin tagdaru tatlu'u minnu atlu' fi alaqa toxic relationship alaqa musimma لو كانت أصحاب friendship marriage whatever try to find your right place whatever it is either learn something new بتعلم حاجة جديدة or better what you already know and do yeah so it it's good for your mental health trust me trust me it is so number three نمرة ثلاثة what is it? Nimra. Nimra. Talata. Talata. Number three. All right. <laughs> and we talked about this yesterday. We touched on it a little bit. 
but give to others. Sometimes, you know, we will, we, we're really hard on ourselves. Yeah. And being able to do something nice for somebody else can change your whole outlook based off of their reaction. And yesterday we spoke about Hygiere and her early stages of her business and yeah. how people would, some people tore down and told her that she wanted to. Want, yes. To ride. <laughs> yes, wanted to and tried to turn her down. But she decided not to go that route. Mm -hmm. and, and had tunnel vision of what she wanted to succeed in life. And in that process, she also had people who helped her along the way. Who made a really big difference. Not even yeah. knowing. Some not even knowing what situation that she was in. Yeah. So give to others. It's very important, and that's really good for your mental health. Being able to put a smile on somebody else's face will make a world of difference. Yep. Nimra talata. Give to others. Addi al-akharin. Ahdi. Ahdi. Like a gift. Tahdi haja. That's mean you give someone a gift. Okay. Or you give, you give, you can be. That doesn't have to be money. Yeah. That doesn't have to be something big mm -hmm. yesterday um amis gunna um kilma musaada um helping someone she's like mm -hmm. musaada help I, I, yeah. I understand you got it you got I, it I you got it <laughs> so um give to others that when people say giving truly 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 makes you not just a better person but when you give there is actually a cycle, right? Yeah, what goes around... What goes around comes, comes around. around. And whatever you put out in the world, mm -hmm. it's going to come to you somehow. Yeah. So if you're someone that is doing good, trust me, life is going to treat you well. Um, with everything that I had going on for me, I always found someone or something helped me. Mm -hmm. I, I can't complain, honestly. Wallahi, I swear. Wahali. Wallahi. Wallahi. Like, <clears throat> even when I'm at low, my lowest point, mm -hmm. um, somebody will be on my way yeah. and did something good. Mm -hmm. Or I, it feels like really hard. I don't have anyone to help with the girls and I have to go to work. I get someone to come and help. So the whatever energy that you put out there, it comes right back. Um, when you give to others, there is a like a, a good feeling yeah. for giving. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying so no one can come and say, um, I don't have anything to give. Yes, you do. Kindness is free. Kindness is free. Kilma taiba. Kilma. Kilma. Taiba. Taiba. Like a nice, kind word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's for free. Mm -hmm. Give advice for what you have done and how you succeeded. So you yeah. can help someone to buy bass that, you know, reinventing the wheel. Right. Absolutely. So when you, um, like, we, when, with the panel that we did, we were talking about things that um, worked in your like um, company, work mm -hmm. in your life, share that with others. Yeah. Don't feel like when you share whatever you have, you are going to lose. You truly are not going to lose. Right. Um, you can't. Because your story can help <clears throat> impact somebody else's life in ways that you wouldn't even imagine. Yep. Yeah. So give to other. Yes, so Muhammad, did I say right? Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. said, life is short. Try to avoid the stresses and the fly far from your sadness. And fly far from your sadness. That's what we say. Run. If you are with someone toxic, run. If you are in a situation that is affecting you mentally, mm -hmm. because everything that you do daily mm -hmm. will truly affect how you are going to live your tomorrow. Yeah. So I, I keep reminding you guys, I'm going to say stuff and it's not going to get old. Um, <clears throat> everybody knows me, know the story of Daisy. Hey, Daisy, I hope you're <laughs> not, <laughs> you're still, <laughs> you're not still like, you know, trying to be miserable. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, seriously, because you know what? 
I do not associate myself with negative people, right? But that was not always a, uh, something that you could accomplish. You could be working and you have someone miserable in your life and you yes. can't run away. It's going to affect your mental health. Yes. Um, when I was working at the hospital, uh, like 2011, I think, um, I never go to work like sad or mm -hmm. upset. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, it doesn't matter what's happening in my life. I hang it. I hang it by the mm -hmm. door. Um, uh, my misery, everything. I go with my smile. Um, in Harrisburg Hospital, everybody knows me as a singing nurse because <laughs> I come and I sing. I don't have a good voice, yeah, but yeah. you know what? I got an okay. Uh, it makes me happy and it makes my patient happy back right. then. So one of the nurses that was working with me, um, she came and I wrote that on my book. She told one day she came and I don't know if she was like something going on, but she's always miserable. Like come to work and like, how are you? Good morning. What's good about it? Oh, wow. Like those kind <laughs> of attitude. So she's like came one day and I think she got tired of me. And she said, um, you can't tell me you have nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. with your life you're always coming here happy and mm -hmm. like why somebody else's happiness bother you yeah answer me why so i told her i said first of all i she's like you can't come you're trying to make us leave like basically like who are you trying to convince you're trying to convince us that your life is perfect and you're always smiling and happy i'm like first of all sweetie hold on i'm not trying to convince you or anybody I'm not here to convince you mm -hmm. that I'm happy. Right. I am happy. Mm -hmm. And my life is far from perfect. Uh, but my patient have no, um, like there is no reason for them to be miserable. Right. First of all, I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I'm breathing on my own. Some people can't do that. They're on ventilator. I am eating on my own. Some people have feeding tube. Mm -hmm. I am not laying in bed. I am taking care of them. They're the one that need help. Right. Why do you want to make them miserable? Why do you want to bring your issue to them? They have enough going on in their life. Right. And why is my happiness bothering you? Uh, and if you have somebody like that in your life, you really want to sit down and think. Yeah. Like, why is this person around? Why am I still holding on to this guy? Because clearly he does not want me to be happy. Like, you have to consider those things. And you have to be willing to... Turn the page, cut the page, yeah. drop those red flags off. Whatever you got to do, you got to be willing to separate yourself from that. Yeah. So disconnect from mm -hmm. people who are negative mm -hmm. and people who are trying to make you negative. And please, if you're someone who always feel like they have to be sad, wallahi, seriously, umnura galat al fihum mukafihum yani. Naza ayana ragda fi mustashfa. Somebody's sick. Ayana, mm -hmm. marida, sick. They're in the hospital. Ayanin, uh, mashakilum, magadrin yaklu. They can't eat by themselves. Some mm -hmm. of them, they can't breathe on their own. They can't walk on their own. imshu. Ana alhamdulillah, you're gonna thank God, thank whoever you believe in for what you have. Right. And try to like be thankful and grateful for what you have. Yes. And like for every situation, mm -hmm. there, there is a, like an appropriate action. Like you can't go in the hospital and be like, oh my God, my life is miserable. You're talking to someone who is literally have a lot going on wrong with them, with their health. Right. Somebody might have someone died in their life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, hi, hint. So anyways, um, um, Saeed قال الواحد نفسه يتابعكم باللحظة بلحظة لكل الأسف شبكتنا ما سمحت خالص معليش والله I'm so sorry uh, الفيديو بيكون قاعد ممكن تحضره في أي وقت um, كريمة هاي كريمة so anyways the whole idea from me telling those stories and you're gonna hear them a lot I wrote them in my book and I called that girl's name because I really truly hope 
that I mean after that she kind of like I mean she just got used to me mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people go to get annoyed by positive people yeah like I'm normally a positive person it, you don't see you have to piss me off like <laughs> to really do something and then I'm gonna be mad yeah I, I don't let people walk over me. Mm -hmm. I will stop you right there. I know to draw a line. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't like to be negative. Right. Uh, I am blessed. And even when I was making $6 an hour, I was blessed. Right. Because, you always have to see the, the, the bright side yeah. of things. Yes, you may not have that car. You may not have that home. You may not have, you know, what you have. Which, focus on what you have what you have and that's our next that's actually number four the so have our, and the have not <laughs> our, la our last tip is to pay attention to the present moment and your, your present mindset yeah be thankful and grateful for what you have some people don't have clothes some people don't have phones some people don't have clean water some people don't have some people are currently at war right this is before maya continue my girls um, used to hate this a lot. And I talked about this also on my post that they, they say, uh, mom, you have toxic positivity. You need to see what's wrong and, and be sad. And that doesn't mean I'm not sad, right. but I don't carry it with me. And I used to make a mistake. I hope none of you will do it. Uh, when my girls come to me, that was a long time ago. And I, they put me in their place. I raised very strong, powerful women. They used to come to me and say, oh my God, such and such did at a school. That was a long time ago. Um, somebody did this and they're so upset and I'm like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Or they're like, I don't have money to do this and this. So I listened to them, yes. But then I say, remember, there's other kids mm -hmm. in the world that don't have what you have. Some people are at war. Some people don't have like a, a warm house. They don't have food. And as much as this put things into perspective to them, as much as it made their feeling unvalidated. Yeah. So please remember, don't you don't want to be, um, you don't want to... Um, like dismiss your kids right. or somebody else's feeling. I've done that right. and my kids put me back on my place. They're like, mom, we know there are kids in the world that's suffering, but right now I'm upset. Right. Can you just listen to me without giving me a lecture? Right. When they listen to a song, I'd be like, those lyrics are really bad. Or, okay, this song is like making women look bad or uh, degrading to women mm -hmm. this they're like we just listen to the music we're not listening reading the lyrics right. and stuff so sometime we need to ground ourselves yeah and don't get mad when your kids ground you mm -hmm. um pay attention to the present pay attention to your surrounding at the same time know what's going on in the world yeah be compassionate um know that you have way more than a lot of people like in yeah. any day mm -hmm. at any given day what you have is more than somebody else have right and i if my when my kids say this is toxic positivity leave me leave me alone with my toxic positivity i want to be toxically positive is that toxic positivity right <laughs> but also it's not healthy for you Right. I, I, I will be the first one to admit it. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of put my feelings down and minimize everything that I go through. I've been through a lot and that makes everything happen to me is like, it's a walk in the park. It's, it's nothing. It's a walk in the park. Right. It's nothing. And you don't want to do that because at some point you are going to come to a realization yeah. that, you know, a drop of water might not break a stone or hajar, but when that same drop keep poop, dripping, mm -hmm. the same spot, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna break it at some at some point. Mm -hmm. So no matter what the issue, 
no matter how small that issue, saqir, small, ولا كبير, big, saqir, small, small, كبير, كبير, big, big. No matter what's that problem, how big it is, or how small it is, it is going to affect you with repetition. Like do the same thing every day, and it's going to make an impact somehow. So, so exactly what she just said. So what you're thinking every day, what you're telling yourself every day, daily affirmations are important. Yeah, I, I used to do them when I was, you know, doing the TSO show, and I, and then I stopped in October. Hydra, she said, I just want you to go back to the old Maya, and I had to sit and I had to think, like, what, what is that old Maya? Like, what, yeah. is, she, what is she saying? You have to have positive affirmations. What you say, speak out, is what is coming back into you. I did not mean to put my hand in the camera like that. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But what you put out is what you get back in. Yeah. And your thoughts, your thoughts create, and they manifest things. So you yeah. got to be really mindful. We know life is hard. Not everybody has what they want, when they want it, where they want it. But we have to be thankful for what we do have. Yeah. And sometimes it's not even the physical things that you're thankful for, but it's just being Your able family. to speak. Yeah. Just being able to just be able to speak. Like somebody asked Hygier two days ago, why what is the point of bringing awareness? Right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's a like a crazy question and I can't get it out of my mind. But even it it applies even to mental health, right? Yeah. This is a part of our mental health too. Yeah. 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 Being able to speak to you guys and spend the afternoon with you and talk with you throughout the day, answer your comments. Like, that is a part of our mental health and helping us. Yeah. Not just to get on live and yeah. have great lighting. You yeah. know, it's a lot more, <laughs> it's a lot so, more than that. So when you, you could lose, you could easily lose sight of who you are. Yes, that's what... See, that's why... um. He this, said, Queen Hajir. Hi. Exactly. This is yeah. why I love her, y'all. <laughs> she just be like in my, she be speaking to me. She be really talking to me, y'all. This, this is what I feel like. But yes. Every yes. day. Every, every day, day. Every, every day. day. Oh, my word. Don't lose sight of who you are. Don't lose sight of what made you who you are. Um, sometime, my, my girls, I also refer to, like, talk about them all the time. They, they like, you always take picture. You always do videos. You always do this and this. And I have all of that. And I will sit there and remember, remind them how they look like, what they used to say. It grounds you. Yeah. I look at my old pictures, the things that I've done. And it like, it shows you made your growth. Me, it shows you your growth. That's important. Yeah. One thing I'm going to tell you as a writer, right? As an author. If you don't read your book or look at your life story or your life and cringe and like, what that picture? <laughs> All of you look, look at your old pictures. Like, seriously, uh, if you don't look at that picture, like what's up with these eyebrows? <laughs> you know, those eyebrows back then oh, were my it. Word. <laughs> or Nothing your like hair it. style. No, but I you're mean, right, you're right. You're you, right. your picture. Your video, your message. A lot of people will say, "Oh my God, I went back to my con my like Facebook status uh, like 2007. I joined Facebook, mm -hmm. and the status is like, why? Why did I write that? If you don't look at your life and cringe, that's mean you did not grow. لو ما عينتوا للحاجات اللي عملتوها زمان. Look at me. و Oh, so cute, Maya, cute, Maya. Show it, show it. Oh, so. my, word. Oh, my dad, my, oh, before, my dad used to say, Maya, you went through a metamorphosis. Okay? <laughs> but listen, no, But seriously. everybody, I'm going to show y'all my cringeable moment. And it's because I love y'all. We're family now, okay? <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Do y'all see this? Who is that? Remember when you used to take big share with like that? That's when I, and you know what, this story, it, I mean, this picture has like a really big story. You know, my family grew up really big. Maya, I'm Maya now. Oh gosh, <laughs> my family grew up, you know, like we didn't have as much money and I was actually in a trailer park. Like I grew up in a trailer park and a lot of people don't know that. Slow but, down. Sorry. <clears throat> I grew up in a trailer park and yeah. a lot of people don't know that. 
But just like Hajir said, like you never know. Like Lajla said, wa halati asal. She said asal. You're like sweet sukkar. You are cute. And this picture? <laughs> yes. I'll yes. send you the picture. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. If you don't look back, um, يعني لو ما عاينت لروحك زمان you don't look at yourself and cringe cringe بالعربي يعني تقول اوه ده شنو ده ده شنو ده اللي انا كنت بقول فيه ده شنو الهدوم اللي انا كنت لابسها ده شنو الهير ستايل ده ده شنو اللي انا بعمل فيه ده سمين ده بيعني انك اتطورت في حياتك مشيت لقدام yeah. if you look at everything you've done 20 years ago and you're like Oh my God, this is amazing. This is where I am right now. That's mean you did not move a bit. Yeah. You want to stop and revalue, evaluate your life, move forward. Um, <clears throat> Iman said, Ahlan ya Adil, thank you very much. Um, she said, Iti ya hajjora amla zay baba, marra mashet maa wa jama'a ligit al-talaba bi'arfuna, ana wa khwati bil-ism, who was a single dad, Bardo. <laughs> Her dad was a single dad, mm -hmm. and she went to college with him, and everyone knows them by name because they talk about he talk about her a lot, yeah. and everybody knows Rimas, everybody knows Malaz, everybody mm -hmm. knows Kareem, mm -hmm. and uh, for the oldest, if you don't see them a lot now because now I don't have permission to do a lot of their pictures, <laughs> but before when I was the boss, right. <laughs> I did a lot, but um. <clears throat> to the point, if you don't look at everything you've done before, when I went back and read my memoir, I'm like, <laughs> did I write that? <laughs> did I say that? So I'm looking around. That's why I'm rewriting the memoir now. We're doing the second edition, and I'm rewriting a novel, Kitab Jadid. Lano lama mashed ayntel al Kitab al Gadim. يعني قلت ده شنو ده؟ Who so, said that? It's so good though. Just yeah. Make, if yeah. you don't have the memoir, please, we're gonna, I'm gonna post it later on today so you can go. Yeah. Just, just read it. You gotta read it. You gotta see yeah. the growth. Yep. Yes. From the memoir the to the novel. You gotta the see the growth. Yeah. التطور. التطور. التقدم. التقدم. يعني there is so many words lead up to your now moment mm -hmm. and for your own mental health, don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. The world is hard enough. The world is hard enough. The world is hard enough. Say what, what she said. The world is hard enough. The world is hard enough. The world is hard just like that. So the whole world is against you. Yeah. Don't you don't need to beat yourself and be against yourself. Yeah. Um, look at the past, like I always say, to benefit from it. Look, uh, look at it as uh, a story, history, mm -hmm. a learning moment. To use it so you can avoid your mistakes. Right. To use it so you can grow from it. Right. Look back. Look back. Not look forward. And look forward. Let it go. Lean back. Exactly. Lean back. But then come back. I always have a song. <laughs> so look back so you can see where you come from. Yes. And that but was in our daily But do not live there. Yeah. Don't live there. Don't stay in the past because you will never see tomorrow. You will exactly. never see tomorrow. So, mm. you know, mental health is really important. You know, that's why we talk about it every week and we bring awareness to yeah. it. Um, and we want, you know, this, we're hoping that our, that the, the show at 2.30 is really helping you guys and you guys are taking the information and using it in your daily life. Yeah. But we also want you to know that we also do this for us as well. Yes. And this is helping us as well. And this helps us with our mental, our mental health and seeing everybody commenting and sharing like that is just love. Yes. Just love. Yes. 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 Um, so Take the information. Um, I will post the four tips after the show today. Yeah. So that you guys can have them. Um, and then we'll have four whole new tips next week. Um, I'm not ending it. I was just... We need to end. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay. Today is my student graduation. Oh, yes, I yes, am yes. in the board of trustee with Hack, uh, Meglis al Umana. Meglis al Umana. Meglis al Umana. Meglis al Umana. <laughs> 
trustees. Um, and today is our student graduation at the Hershey Giant Center. So congratulations to all our students. I will be up on the stage, not handing you physically your diploma today. Dr. Iski will do that, but I'll be cheering you on. I am the trustee that's sitting on a stage when the student come to get their diploma. I'm the only one that is, yay, go! <laughs> like, She's such yeah, a supporter. I'm like, that's why I love her. I'm like clapping for everyone out there. Um, all my students would like love, love the support. And they just look and laugh because it's like you're supposed to be sitting there wearing the rope. And, you know, I, uh, it's me. Right. I just do me, right. you know. And Hajira is always <laughs> happy for other people. Like, yes. I wish that like, this is why I had to be around her literally Thank you guys. every day of my life. But we are going to try to make sure we go live so that you guys can experience it with us. Because yep. we like sharing this carrot. Yep. Just like sharing this video is carrot. Just to throw that out there. Um, But yes, we will try our best to go live. Hopefully we have good wi-fi connection yes yeah. but uh we will see you guys later once again thank you so much for participating in mental health thursday tiktok instagram facebook youtube listen we love you guys thank you thank you thank you Continue. you could have spent this time with anybody yes. doing anything but you chose to be with us and i do not take this lightly we always going to tell you to be the change that you want to see in the world um drop us your comments <clears throat> your suggestions, uh, what you benefit from, if this is helping you, mm -hmm. uh, show us what coping mechanism you're using, yes. uh, what you do to make sense of this messy life. And remember that life is hard. It is not easy, but look at what you have, where, how far you came, right? Yeah. Uh, don't look at everybody else and what they have because this is going to put you in a dark place yes. don't compare yourself to others mm -hmm. there is a saying that um the day that i harvest it could be the day you plant your seed Thanks. so oh, that's really good yes yeah. so um when you look at someone and they're like succeeding with their business or their life they don't have to be necessarily at your like started the same time as you your time did not come maybe you just planted your yeah. seed of learning and new hobby changing your job figuring out who the heck you are yeah. <laughs> like that's as simple as that figure out who you are what do you want to do in life and plant your seed Wait for it to grow, water it, do what you need to do to make yourself better. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at somebody else's plant. Why is their tree is bigger than mine? Mm -hmm. Why is their life is better than mine? Because they did not start at the same position. Yes. They might have someone to help them. You know, their circumstances are different than yours. So do not compare yourself to other. Be your own competition compete against yourself yep. and you'll be good and don't let other people failure if you don't have a friend that look at you like how maya looks at me find one. Oh my word yeah <laughs> everybody knows i love hygiene I've, no, I've loved her since literally day one it was love at first not that way yo but yes um <laughs> and i yeah i genuinely love you I, I know i know and i love you too it's just Yep. I'm glad we get to do it together. Me too. Me so, too. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget if you would like to participate in any of our daily uh, motivations or anything like that from Autism Monday, Saving Tips Friday, Mental Health Thursday, send us an email at info at hygienenetwork.com. If you would like Hygiene to come speak at one of your events, you heard me. Speak at your we event. have that contest. No one oh. is. No. I'm not going to say no, and a lot of people send it, mm -hmm. but December 25th is the last day for to accept. We have very good pri uh, prizes. Yes. Uh, we are trying to help talented people, so if you're a singer, you're a poet, you have a book, you have any kind of talent. You make clothes? Yes. 
send us one minute of what you do we will air it on the page and you'll be entered to win something y'all watch america's got talent this is hygiene's got talent all right so submit your artwork My submit drum. whatever you got <laughs> submit it to the email info at hygier um network.com or if you do not have an email just drop it in the comments yep okay there's multiple ways for you to send it to us okay so we love you Ma'asalama. Ma'asalama. <laughs> we will see you guys tomorrow for Saving Tips Friday. Yes, 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 yes.